the world is moving towards a new normal. When there is still much uncertainty regarding international travel, the search volumes for staycations definitely uphold an appetite for going on vacation. So how do you take a break during the summer pandemic? You certainly cannot fly, you stay close to home. In other words, you go to a hotel. And if you are in Singapore, of course, you will definitely book a stay at Marina Bay Sands, home to the world's largest infinity pool. This world famous attraction found on the 57th floor rooftop sky park needs no introduction, but it's still worth mentioning because it's truly a grand feeling to swim in such a massive pool and soak in the awe inspiring top down city of Singapore. If you want to know what it's like having a staycation at Marina Bay Sands, continue watching the video. COVID-19 has affected every sector across the globe, and the hotel industry is among the hardest hit. Still, the iconic hotel soldiers on. Even though it closed last year for three months and turned on the lights just for the nightly SG United show, now it's back in its all majestic glory, welcoming guests into its hallowed hallways once again. Having a staycation is about more than the room of course. What makes a stay great really are the experiences you can have in the vicinity. And with venues like the shops where you can buy luxurious brands that I couldn't afford, an art science museum for the high IQs which I'm not, these are all available at your doorstep. You'll be spoiled for choices here. Dining and drinking options play a big part too, and there's a lot in here. But because there are too many to do and talk about, we will be focusing on our experience with the Infinity Pool. Despite the lack of tourists, the Marina Bay Sands lobby bustles with people coming and going, many speaking different languages and accents as well. A pleasant reassurance that while a lot has changed in the past couple of months, some things don't. All three towers are now open, though with reduced capacity due to safe management measures, and the hotel is strict about it. You have to scan your room card and tell them your room number every single time you wanted to access the lift lobby. When you head out, they'll also take note of your room number and how many people have exited, so you can't have social gatherings exceeding the limit. With over 2,500 rooms in 6 categories at various price points, you're sure to find the right fit to lay your head at night. All rooms either offer stunning views of Gardens by the Bay and the South China Sea, or Marina Bay and the city skyline. It's up to you to decide what you want to wake up to. No trip to Marina Bay Sands is complete without a dip in its infinity pool, but don't expect to rack up in your bikini or trunks and be allowed in. You need to book your slot online and each registered guest is only allowed an hour in the pool each day. Our advice is to make a reservation as soon as you confirm your staycation as spots get snapped up fast. On the bright side, this means that when you make your way down, the pool is practically empty save for a few other staycationers. The pool is divided into three areas. You need to take note that you can only go in one area for the one hour time slot. So make sure you and your companion goes into the same area as you are not allowed to change. Because of the safety measures imposed, few people are only allowed in the pool, which means more unobstructed views. If you go in at 8 a.m. in the morning, you would most likely be the first to dip into the cool waters. It would be instantly refreshing, especially after a sunrise jog around the Marina Bay promenade before that, and rejuvenating. A more popular time slot to go for is around 6 to 7 p.m. to catch the sunset view, which we did. Again, each pool session is only an hour long, so you need to do everything swimming, vlogging, taking Instagram photos, enjoying the view, kind of a rush.
Here is a virtual tour of the infinity pool. Enjoy watching the video. Sabi mo, girl, sa pagkakatkat natin. Sa pagkakatkat natin. Vacation is a new vacation. In order to stimulate your curious mind and push yourself to find out new tracks and new things to do, here are some of the benefits of a staycation. Staycation limits the stress related to organizing a trip. It allows carrying out activities that inevitably because of a busy schedule during the year. Staycation also promotes the local economy. Discovering or rediscovering the beauty of your city or region, which we often forget to notice due to stress. Last but not the least, Stication allows you to learn how to take advantage of the present moment. All that to say, it's a pretty good deal to book a Stication here in Marina Bay Sands right now. Luxurious rooms? Checked. Fantastic infinity pool views? Checked. Great location surrounded by a slew of restaurants and shops? Double checked. Marina Bay Sands is one of Singapore's most iconic hotels for good reason. And even after 10 years of welcoming guests, it's still at the top of its game. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. If you have questions, write it down in the comment section. And if you want to send me on an expedition to a place to explore in Singapore, please let me know. See you on my next expedition.